One of the challenging things about Siamese Mahjong is remembering how to score the hand. In this video, I've recreated a hand that I played at Siamese Mahjong so we can practice scoring. Three, two, one. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. These are hands from a game I played at SiamesMahjong.com. We were just going into the end game, and I declared Mahjong on this hand. Two picks later, I drew my winning tile for this hand. This player had a Kong of sixes and a Kong of flowers out, but no declared Mahjongs here. Score this. Since I declared a pure hand here, this player was going to need to either double Mahjong or win a pair hand. And they have what looks like an attempt at a pair hand. Five consecutive pairs in the matching dragon, but we have the fives right here. So it looks like that's what they were trying to do, a pair hand and a regular hand here and double Mahjong. That would be the only way to take over a pure hand. This is a 35 point hand, doubled because it's pure, so that would be 70 points. So they would have to double Mahjong to win this game. So I think that's why they didn't declare this hand. They had two exposures, these were concealed, and they were working on this hand. They were one away from ready on the pair hand, but they weren't going to make it because we had the fives, which they knew when I declared this hand a couple of picks prior to declaring this Mahjong. So I declared this pure hand. They stayed concealed, but they had two exposures. And then I picked my winning tile for this hand a couple picks later. So this hand is a pure hand, first hand, 35 points, but 70 points because it's pure. This hand, I drew it, the winning tile myself, and it's the second Mahjong, so you get double the value for the second win. So this is normally a 25 point hand, doubled because it's the second winning hand. So that's 50 points. 70 points, 50 points for a total of 120 points. And that's what this player would have to pay this player. 120 points. If you play Siamese Mahjong online, the game will score for you, so you don't have to memorize the rules for scoring. But if you play in person, either have the rules printed for reference or look at them online at SiamesMahjong.com. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.